the 966 Chronicles continue. So basically this tractor right here has had some hydraulic problems. I just came up one day to move it around, shuffle some stuff around and it wouldn't move. No power steering, no hydraulic function at all. So called a dealer, said, hey, what's up with this thing? He told me change the transmission fluid, change the filter, see if that fixes anything. Sometimes those things get plugged and it doesn't want to allow anything. Attempted to change it. Well, all the plugs were stripped out. Whoever had the tractor last stripped out all the transmission plugs. So. We managed to get one of them out and then I drilled holes in two of the other ones and put an extractor bit up there and tried to get it out that way. I couldn't get it out. I don't have electricity up in this building so I can't run a welder up here and weld a nut to it or anything. So I actually called someone and said, hey, can you come get these transmission plugs out? I know it sounds kind of stupid, but that's what I did. Anyway, they were out here yesterday. They pulled the plugs out, drained them. We're gonna fill it up with fluid and we're gonna hope that that fixed the problem. If it doesn't fix the problem, then it is most likely the MCV valve. I got all the fluid here and, and, and we just I just gotta put it in and hope that it fixes it. I'm gonna run down and get a half inch, pull out that plug. I don't think there's any oil in here. Oh, there's oil in there. Okay. Never mind. This plug actually looks fine. Come on, focus. I don't really think I need to get a new plug. I'm going to roll with it. This is the moment of truth. Full of oil, dipstick is good. Fire it up and just pray that everything works like it's supposed to. Well, hallelujah, this thing runs like a champ. I'm very, very thankful that the oil in the filter was what was causing the uh, hydraulic problem because I was not looking forward to having to pay for a repair bill and a pump in there. I'm just praying that this thing doesn't give us any more problems because we, last summer, if you followed along, last summer, this thing, I mean, it was gone half the hay season because we were having problems with it and it was at the diesel mechanic and getting stuff worked on but it's running now the fact that the filter in the hydraulic fluid was the problem on this tractor makes a lot of sense to me now uh, because when we bought this tractor and it showed up at our farm it was 12 gallons low like it was missing 12 gallons of fluid in this tractor so it, only half the reservoir was full of hydraulic fluid so and when i pulled the filter out it was full of gunk and just weird stuff so i'm glad this fixed it she runs she smokes, but got to dust the cobwebs off her. That's a big relief to get this thing fixed. Farming can be stressful, especially when you're a small farm and you don't have the tools or the manpower or the facilities to do things. Sometimes these repairs, it can get, it can get stressful. That's fixed. That's a big one checked off. As far as the rest of the stuff, this baler still has a bearing that we got to replace on the thrower, which shouldn't be too hard. The bearing's like 15 bucks. The hydraulic hoses is the big project on this tractor. The two hydraulic hoses that run all the way back to the thrower. They are both leaking up here at the couplers like a lot. Lot. and every time I go to move the thrower they like to spew fluid so they have to be replaced uh, I mean I mean you can see on here I kept building it up with you know tape all season long and it's it still leaks it kind of fixed it but it still leaks a lot I want to replace that because I don't want to be spewing hydraulic fluid everywhere in the field because the stuff's not cheap the baler itself is great you know we didn't have anything problem any problems with the nodders or anything mechanical but I will have the dealer uh, go over it have him come pick it up and run it through their inspection program because there's a lot of moving parts on that and uh, I just wanna make sure that thing is, is good for the season. Uh, as far as the case, nothing we need to do on here. I changed the engine oil on a few weeks ago, so that's good to go. 
the rake i want to replace a few tines the uh, disc bind there's a local guy that does uh, disc bind inspections so he's going to run that through an inspection program and then the tether back there uh, replace a couple clips fastening clips on the tines and then we got to figure out the wobble on it pretty sure i know the problem but we still got to pull that out and, and do that so i got like let's see a month and a half until i leave for florida and i'm going in florida for like a couple weeks so i'm trying to get as much done here as i can before florida and then i come back from florida it'll it'll be like a few weeks till hay season so i don't want to be scrambling to get everything done if you want hay email me email below we got plenty of hay for sale if you're in the southeast pa region email me i deliver that's it for today thank you for watching the 966 lives that's that's all i'm gonna say it works thank you for watching see you in the next one